Welcome and or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. So in this video, I am going ahead and doing my stuffing of my cash envelope system. I did not do it on Sunday, which was uh, yesterday because it was Father's Day. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So now I'm just getting my money ready so that I can begin my stuffing. Have you guys stuffed already? And I am headed out of town, so I gotta do this quickly. My flight leaves soon. So while I am out of town, my husband is going to be at home with the littles so they can enjoy their bonding time. And I thought about doing this while I was out, but I said, you know, um, my husband needs the grocery money, so I'm just gonna leave it with him. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do this stuff right now. All right, so I have my money laid out already. I'm gonna go ahead and do my stuffing now. Let me grab my cheat sheet. All right, so all of my categories are... All right, so my wallet is empty and I'm ready to go. So my cheat sheet says we are starting with... We're gonna start with the eating out budget, which is going to get $150. So that is going to be five twenties, three tens, five fives, and five ones. And we did pretty well with the eating out budget last paper. So I'm hoping that we can do the same with this pay period. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the money there right in front of restaurants. The next category up is date night. So date night is gonna get $75. It's gonna get 150, 120, and 15. Next up is groceries, and groceries is going to get $250. And you guys know how I break that up. I do a 100, a 20 for each week, and then a five for each week. So it's $125 per week. And I set it in my wallet like this. But once I start spending the first week's budget, the second week's budget gets folded and put like that. And our grocery budget breakdown is based on us having Five people in our family, $100 per person, gives us $500 for the month. Broken up over the pay period, that gives us $250 per pay period. So uh, gas is going to be next up, and gas is going to get $175. That is three and a half fill-ups for me. So that is three fifties, a 20, and a five. Also, while we're on the topic of gas, my... Um, my radiator seems like it is going to be causing me some trouble but the good thing about it is i got an extended warranty when i purchased my car which i typically don't get and my dad usually tells me not to do but because i was buying a used car which was my first experience buying a used car i said you know i want to be safe and i want to go ahead and get it and i'm very glad i did because i've already had to get the air conditioner fixed um, i needed a new compressor and i got that and that was covered by my warranty and the radiator is now going to be covered by the warranty as well and my warranty is good for another i believe it's 12 or so months or 11,000 miles whichever comes first so i'm going to try not to have to take my car 
out of town as often as we used to and we're going to rent a car instead so the vacation budget is going to get taxed a little bit because of that so um what's next what's next is my miscellaneous money which is a hundred dollars so it's going to be three twenties two tens three fives and five ones So I'm also going to leave my kid, uh, my children's uh, miscellaneous their allowance money. I'm going to leave it with my husband. So the littles get a $5 each in five ones. And then the big girl, she gets a $20 bill and that's going to go in the middle. They now have these ICs at camp and they have decided that that's what, they're, that's what they're going to ask for every day. And I have already said, people are trying it <laughs> on the daily. You tried it. You tried it, they tried it. Oh, they tried it. You tried it. No, ma'am, no, sir. We are not spending this money every day on this. Um, so next up is going to be my phone bill money. It's $80, so I'm giving myself a 50, a 20, and a 10. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this instead of um, putting the $30 elsewhere because I typically end up using that money somewhere uh, as a buffer. So I'm gonna leave it there. 150, this is the aftercare. So now instead of going into my wallet so I can give to my mom because the babies are in summer camp and we've already paid for that, I'm going to put that $150 into the school sinking fund in addition to the $50 that gets put for big girls aftercare. So that means I'm putting $200 into the school sinking fund and that is what we're going to use for back to school shopping. You just blew your mind. All right, so um, that is, oh, and Tide. So Tide goes into my wallet don't know how I was about to forget that all right so the wallet is done now that means I need to put a hundred dollars into the vacation fund a hundred dollars is going to go into my friends fund and that money I was using to cover the difference with the tax bill that I didn't have um, the next up is going to be Baby Girls Gymnastics. And so gymnastics is going to get $110. It's going to be $100 and a $10. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the gymnastics fund. That actually just hit my card. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put that into the bank so I can pay it. So the next up is going to be my sinking fund categories. And y'all know how I go with this. I just play some music and let you all watch. So um, until next time, journey on. Oh, and if you don't mind, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because I'm going out of town, I'll be able to have a little bit more time to edit some videos that I had created already. <laughs> and so you guys are going to get a whole lot of those videos. You know, my hair is going to be different because I recorded them over the last year and just have never posted them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right. Um, so that's it for this video. You guys enjoy.